everyone welcome back to the channel respect to all my viewers and subscribers who have been hitting the like button and dropping your comments you know to be a part of the conversation over here at sage dog yeah man enough respect for that um today i want to you know talk a little bit about um police record what i want to do is give you guys a breakdown on how to expunge your criminal record right but first let me explain what an expungement is now an expungement is the process by which your criminal conviction is erased or sealed from from the public record getting an expungement essentially gives you a clean police record now to qualify for expungement you must first meet two essential conditions right the first is the offense in question must be a non-custodial sentence or imprisonment not exceeding five years the second one you must not have any convictions right during the rehabilitation period now you may be wondering uh, what is a rehabilitation period it is the amount of time a person must wait before um, an application can be made for expungement of a criminal conviction the time period or you, you say the waiting period ranges from around three years to ten years right you can always expunge minor crimes from your record but there are some offenses that are too serious to be expunged when you talk about the murders and the treason and them things, the robberies and so forth. I don't know, you may have made a mistake in the past and as, as a result you have a dirty record. Applying for an expungement is a great way to close that chapter on your past mistake and provide you with a clean slate to pursue job opportunities and access services that may not have been um, available to you who knows, right? You might be able to finally apply for that US or Canadian visa or get your work permit or your citizenship abroad. You understand? Nearly every employer will request a police record before hiring you. And employers tend to be judgmental when they learn of your past mistakes. And because of that, convicts can barely get any decent jobs, right? Anywhere. If the offense you committed is not a major crime, you can pay a couple thousand dollars to get it off of your record and out of the system completely. Now guys, everyone makes mistakes in their lives, but not all mistakes are the same. Some are extremely costly and they last for a lifetime. But don't feel so bad, right? Because you broke a rule. Life still goes on. Now, let me get into the nitty gritty of how you apply for an expungement. To apply for the expungement, guys, you need to apply to the criminal records office for a printout of any conviction that you may have. To do this, first thing you need to do is to go to any tax office and pay the relevant fees for the police record and obtain the receipt. Now you will take four passport size photographs. You are going to need two for the first phase. Then visit your nearest criminal records office and get your fingerprinting done. When you are going, take along your TRN valid photo ID and two of those passport size photographs and don't get them stamped or signed by the JP. You don't need to do that. They will do a digital scan of your fingerprint right, to process the application. As for how long the process takes for you to get back the result really depends on the type of service that you paid for. The regular services 21 working days costing 3 grand, express services 5 working days and that costs 6 grand and there's a next day service which costs $8,000 but it is only done at the head office at the criminal records office that is located at 34 Duke Street in Kingston. Now on completion of the processing you will get a letter listing all your convictions when you were convicted the sentence that was imposed and by which court and which judge right the letter will also state whether or not the offenses um, can be expunged based on the schedule of offenses all this information is necessary to complete the application form for the actual expungement now after receiving the listing or you know the printout of your record go to the tax office pay the processing fee for the application and the fingerprint and obtain the payment rec uh, receipt. Next, log on to the Ministry of Justice website and download the application form and print it. Or you can go to any Ministry of Justice or courthouse 
and ask for um, the application form. Guys, do not photocopy any of the forms. You need to print them and complete both of them. Next, you need two letters of recommendation from any certified persons, and they should not be family members. Certified persons are JPs, um, Ministry of Religions, um, or medical practitioners, and um, senior officers in the army, and so forth, right? After this, you visit the criminal records office and get your fingerprinting done. Obtain the fingerprint impression. So they are going to give you a document with your fingerprints, right? After you have done all of that, you are going to attach the payment receipt, the fingerprint impression, the two passport size photograph, and the recommendations to the two application forms um, and submit it to the Ministry of Justice office. Now the processing of your application will be done and a decision made by the Rehabilitation of Offenders Board regarding your expungement right, of your police record. You will then be notified by the Ministry of Justice of the decision through the contact details that you had provided on the application forms. Now guys, should your application be successful, you can then apply for a clean police record. I you know you have to go pay for that service, right? Should your application be denied, you may reapply right after two years. Should your application be denied the second time, then you have 60 days right from the date of the second rejection to appeal the decision through the Ministry of Justice. Guys, that is pretty much the entire process, right? So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Drop your comments become a part of the conversation over here at Sage Talk. Guys, hit the like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Take care.